Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron Force, the Kingdom of LA. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, I've been thinking about just, like, invading the NCR. But it's going to be tricky. I Because, I mean, we can attack them. It's going to take exactly 10 days to do so. We also have our invasion of the Haida Confederation ready to go as well. Enemy ships, 24. Broken Coast still has a pretty decent sized navy. We want to avoid that. If at all possible. Like how, many, how many troops does the Broken Coast have now? 11 to 14. We slowly kind of keep running into them, but... Their territory is just... It's long. It's a... It's... it's too long. Which is definitely a problem in and of itself. You guys deployed to the green army. But it'd be really nice if you guys just like like died at some point. Please, I'm begging you. Well our crabs can kill you. Do some naval invasions. I mean, they're naval invading a territory that they actually can't support troops in. Which seems like a mistake to me, but what do I know? Air bases. You know what? Let's get anti-air weapons across the entirety of our border with the NCR. It probably wouldn't hurt to have them. Everybody here is looking pretty good. Like, how big is our military right now? 87 divisions is almost as big as the NCR itself is. I mean, they have a lot more people in their faction, but still. We're only getting bigger and bigger by the day. Still 5,000 manpower, population's growing by 135 a month. I really wish you guys would just like strategically redeploy, maybe. That'd be a good idea. Nope, you just refuse to? Okay. Well, I can't force you as far as I know. So let's, let's get 500 caps. Boy, these guys on the green. Make our planes a little better. Where might I mean I don't like crabs? Do you guys deploy a little bit further out so you're not actually within the front lines uh, automatically? They could have worn tar walkers. The 80s are getting quite large. Not that I think it makes any difference to us personally. I mean, actually, if we're gonna attack the Hydek Federation, probably want to attack from like one of like these ports. That are like right next to them. Definitely make things easier for us in the long run. I, I think, I mean, Red is a little bit worried about the enemy forces. I'm, I'm, I don't really know if I agree with their assessment. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. Guys deploy into green, so green is now maxed out. I mean, I do have planes now. Deploy a hundred planes here. We can deploy. You wanted fifty in this port. Deploy two hundred fifty here, and then we can deploy the rest in this airport. I mean, they're still kind of garbage planes, to be fair, but. So 250 in all these areas. How many planes do I have? I have almost a thousand aircraft, which is more than everybody except for the uh, Caesar's Legion. For some reason, it has about every plane on Earth. Okay, no, we've actually capped you out. So we need to get a new general, hire a new commander. 
you can now be... We don't have a, red, a yellow army yet, so you can be yellow army. You will be the specifically fighting against New Reno. So yellow, you're going to plunge your way way down to the south, towards New Reno. And this front line, so we're only dealing with the Den and Clamath. And we should have a bunch of Coral Worshippers deploying soon as well, which is nice. And after this, we can eventually send our 24 stack down, which would be helping us a decent amount. I'm actually just going to make... I'm just going to make planes cheaper. I could make my naval factories a little bit better. You know, division train time is 25%. For once in my life, I think I'm actually going to go for that one. I also... I really wish the Broken Coast would just die. They have like 100 boats though, so... Our only option is to very, very slow march north. You don't know. Uh, send you guys here. I don't think we need this many men on this front line. It's like it's actually not doing much for us. We're going to send you down south. They're actually going to strategically redeploy. Beautiful. And we have 10 crabs ready to go for an invasion. Like, they want to attack so badly. Uh, research slot available. Um, let's go for biplane fighters. Immediately upgrade you guys to be a, a triplane attack. Does mean we're no longer making gliders, but that's okay. Eventually, all the gliders will just be dead anyway, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Have we reached the 100 manpower? We should have, right? Ah, uh, one more. One more division will have a 100. Absolutely lovely. And you guys will eventually start cleaning up the Broken Coast. Clamo, do you want military access? No, they're fine. Just sitting this one out. Like, the cowards they are. Ooh, like 10 divisions just deployed right there. Oh, some of them have laser weapons as well. That's nice. You probably stole them from the uh, the Brotherhood. If I had to take a guess. We're probably paying $20 a day in expenses. But we're making so much money right now. It's not even, a, not even an issue. We, all, we again have no manpower. So I think it's fine deleting the weaker of the... Infantry. Get another 2,000 back. I mean, the crabs are just objectively better units. I, I think they might actually they might be worse. I'm not too sure, actually. Don't take what I say at uh, face value. You guys go deal with this. It's really just a mess to deal with, isn't it? Like, broken, like, dredgers, you should also declare one of the broken coast, so I don't have to do this alone. Because it's a little bit much. I don't even know how many of these uh, cutter halls I actually built. But that's okay. Upgrade all these guys to be the Mark 1. They'll be done on the 2nd, the 9th of April. So they're still actually pretty cheap. All things considered. Give them more HP. Yeah, I mean, we built like 12 cutter halls. That's not bad. Well, you all together. Go take their one city. Bro the Broken Coast, it's just, it's just, it's a bit much. I have to admit, it's, it's a bit much. So I like Cedar Legion actually, once again, is doing some good work. I think it's... I mean, Yellow's a little bit worried about the front line. But, like, if you just ignore that, everything's okay. Theater Legion. 
It's time you gave me my ports. We can also redeploy red. I'm not too sure if the Brotherhood Steel are immediately going to clear run the NCR's enemy as well. We can take this city. We'll get a surround on you. If you want to go to the border with the dredgers, that's fine by me as well. Like, I'm not too concerned. Okay, actually, you take this port. But I really just want this war to be over. I mean, Frozen Isles, how much are you worth? You're worth 10 victory points. 5. I mean, we could theoretically just navally invade every single province individually. We're considered twice as strong as they are right now. Engage at low risk. I'm a coward. And you know what? Let's get these invasions going. One from here to... I guess we actually need to invade this guy, right? Because as soon as we kill the Broken Coast, we'll annex his territory. So, we go from one to there. And then to this city... And we'll go for another naval invasion from here to that city. And then a naval invasion from here to... I mean, then we're probably going to get to a little bit faster. You go here. And then you will now push all the way up to the Frozen Isles. Skagway is probably a little bit outside of our reach for now. here, you go there, you go to this front, you go to the... One of you goes here. At some point, one of you go there. But our CB against the NCR is finished, so you know what? Let's just go for it. Declare war. This is it. It's, it's all or nothing now, because we, st we still have to kill them before they... Um... We can't attack anybody individually. They're all still cowards and refuse to join in the war. Okay, they actually they are joining in now. Let's go air superiority. Air superiority. Air superiority close air support. Eventually these guys I want them combining up. How long do you actually fly there? There you go. Okay, you guys combine into one air wing. We have an air superiority over this entire region at the moment. And I think we just go and kill them, right? Now you need to kill this guy soon. And then we're just going to massively try to take over every single province. We're going to hold off for now, because we don't need the most priority until the moment we want to do the invasions. Green army. You guys go for it. Uh, purple army, you of course also go for it. We're not at war with Arroyo. You're very not happy with your position. But that's okay. Are we, does it, the NCR Rangers, the Yakuza's not doing anything. Um, we'll deploy you into Yellow Army. I am worried that maybe a Royal can join in. The Brotherhood of Steel can join the NCR in the war against us. Which does have some worrying ramifications. You go up to here. I think that seems good. Uh, you deploy on the yellow front. And you know what, yellow, you help out too. 
I'm again. I'm hoping that this is just gonna make a a, a way that Caesar Legion can push deep into the NCR territory. Once NCR is dead, we can then attack the Western Brotherhood and take their entire coastline. Because right now we have 113 divisions, pretty good. I think the rest of Blue should basically just deploy down to the south. That's probably where they're more useful. Give these guys coming in for some superiority assistance. You come down here. I mean, what's, the man what's, what's it looking like right now? Field of manpower, about 65,000. I mean, it's not that bad. Could be significantly worse. Especially if um, Arroyo and the Brotherhood of Steel don't get involved in our individual war. It's like right now, Brotherhood of Steel, I have nothing against you personally. At some point, I definitely will, but it's not at this exact moment. So now, you guys... Fine. It was priority. We're now going to navally invade. Four different cities at the same time. I'm hoping this works out in our favor, because if it doesn't, then I'll look like an idiot. But it will allow us to deploy blue down to the south, and blue is basically our very elite army. The most elite crabs we have to offer. Looks like we're getting surrounds. Like, everything's going pretty, pretty good, I would say. We still have a vision against Hyde Confederation. But once, once we're done with the um, these dudes, we should be good to go. Taking over two cities. Broken Coast is down to 30%. Taking their capital. Go take this port. Is that enough for the capitulation? Yes, it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Take all states. Okay, apparently I have to... Yeah, no, they're... Lameth, you're not getting anything. You really did not do much at all. That's about all I'm going to say on this matter. All of you guys are going to deploy straight against the Haida Confederation. I mean, everybody else can... No, you go here as well. Uh, we'll now delete this. And... We just go coring everything. I mean, there's basically no manpower here at all, which kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? They're all cores to me. Okay. That's, I mean, it's only like an extra thousand manpower. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but it's not nothing. Okay, we'll uh, shrink Yale Army down to be like this. Another crab we can send to the front lines. Man, so these are a lot of new Reno troops. As soon as like new Reno is dead, they should more or less just kind of give up. And yeah, the our plan to get the Siege of Legion involved here is working out beautifully. As soon as we are done killing you, these guys will all pull uh, deploy down to the south. Yeah, the negative twenty-five percent uh, training time is actually making a huge difference. Like you're just gonna die, right? You're gonna attack us, you're gonna fail, and then we just immediately counterattack and take your two cities. That's at least how I see this going. Uh, I'll deploy you here. We already need another commander again. So put in Small Wemtian, because that is a great name. We'll immediately get a new commander. You're not leading an army. We're going to promote you. Anybody who can upgrade right now? Yellow can. 
He's got two perks. So anything that gives me this attack. Yeah, let's go for Gun Nut, followed by Nerd Rage. You guys can also be able to immediately get something. Definitely not Power Armor. Let's go for Rooted. You will also now be the... We don't have a... Orange Army. You guys will deploy right here, and your job is to spearhead cross like that. Is that a good idea? I have no real idea, to be honest. You can just, like, delete basic weapon at this point. It's probably not helping us out at all. Cut you down in half so that we can then build in some biplane fighters. Something like that should work out good. I mean, I'm sure we're losing a lot of aircraft doing this, but that's okay. Okay, you guys, you know what? You don't need to be up here. You can start deploying way down to the south as well. Oh no, Small Wempton has gone ill. A sad day for the nation. You guys also deploy into orange. Our armies, we're already at 128 divisions. At that point, I said we're probably good just with what we have. We'll have one more round of troops deployed, but I think other than that, I mean, we don't have the supply right now necessary to actually maintain this army. Until hopefully we get somebody capitulate. Oh, you're going to need to fall back. Unless you get somebody else to get in there. You did. Fantastic. So I'm going to actually have everybody stop attacking. Looking for any holes in the line. I don't see any at the moment. We got better boats again. Um, we'll get some boat upgrades. Let's finally do some air doctrines. Get some more fighters. Um, we are at war. I understand this. Cannot deploy because you don't have manpower. That's understandable. Of course, after that, we're going to go for some patrol bolts for the next one, right? Yes. Upgrade all of you. You're going to max out as soon as you possibly can. We just, have, we just have the manpower right now to deploy our boats, which is a bit, it's a little bit sad, but, you know, it is what it is. Red Army, you're also pretty, uh, highly skilled. You will die in but a moment. There we go. That should be the end of the Haida Confederation. We will just take all their states. Immediately core the territory for a beautiful 500 manpower. Not a ton. But you know, you get what you can. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. Now enjoy, call you something down. Don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye.